Okay, today is a very exciting day. Today is the day that we're moving the mummy of a brachylophosaur named Leonardo from the Houston Museum of Natural Science off-site facility to the on-site facility. So this is a, a, a very exciting day and it's, um, it's a little scary actually. It's, it's, it's one of those things, actually I call this feeling game day. Well, of course, uh, Leonardo's had to be packed on a special pallet with steel reinforced, so it's a very complicated armature. Um, it, the, the underpinnings of it are padded. It has to be moved with a special forklift that's uh, rated for that kind of weight. And then after that, of course, then it has to be loaded into a special tractor trailer that has uh, extra shocks and, of course, is also uh, air cushioned. So there's a lot of redundancy built in. But it's a very, it definitely, uh, this, this dinosaur is a VIP and is being very pampered. We knew already, having moved Leonardo from Alta, Montana, or rather, Watch, the, the, the company, we knew that you needed a very heavy forklift, and you needed careful placement of the rollers underneath the fossa when it was moved. That we knew already. What we did not know was what sort of crane, extendable crane, could be used, and how to attach the... the um, the ropes and straps to this fossil, to the crane, so the fossil wouldn't vibrate, wouldn't swing. That I'd never done, never seen done. So moving a fossil is like moving a, a piece of art or an Egyptian sculpture from one of the great tombs or the great temples. Heavy, delicate things require guys who deal with heavy, delicate things. Watch your hands. And actually, what was interesting to me is they have a language of their own. They worked out that the crane operators and the spotters and the, the driver says all he does is pay attention to his guys on the ground, the spotters. They keep him safe, they keep him where he needs to be, and they have all different hand signals and things um, to tell him which way to go. So it went, actually it went very smoothly. You know, everybody operated like a, like a well-oiled machine. It was great. But when they had to move it the six inches to get it into the final place in the, in the gallery, that was, um, after having gone through all the other things and overcome all those hurdles, uh, you know, dropping it six inches, which would still be just as devastating. Um, that was, that's when I was really the most nervous. It was the last move. Yeah. 